Hey, Jack. Hey, Duncan. Tell me about Bound. Bound is a brand new PlayStation 4 title. Uh, just came out today. Um, it is essentially a linear platforming game, I want to say. It's hard to kind of categorize. Um a core pillar of the game obviously is um, dance and so a lot of the movement and uh, interaction with the world in the game revolves around dance as you can see here um, the developers uh, plastic have definitely done their work they uh, I mean hats off to them off out of the gate type thing because they've obviously done a tremendous amount of work when it comes to studying the movement uh, and um, the flow of dance uh, and I showed this trailer to a friend not long ago who had uh, been in dance for many years and she just was blown away immediately by the fact that it's just it it just is ballet it, it is yeah. it really is the, with the, my limited experience in the theater exactly yeah and i mean every so every movement you make in the game whether it's just walking up some stairs or it's uh, shimmying along uh sort of a narrow ledge um to defending yourself from these kind of malvolent forces in the world um it, it is you I mean she's idle there and she's she's just sort of twisting and stretching right so it's uh it is interesting that way um it's beautiful too yeah so that that that's the the first thing other than the the sort of exaggerated movement of the character that you will notice is just the world is absolutely startling to look at um the the concept and this is the thing it's it makes it quite difficult to talk about because you can't really discuss the story of the game um without spoiling it like it's it's one that relies very heavily on not knowing anything about it to go into it but the long and short is um you play uh, one can assume this young woman who is i think depicted as a princess uh, in this world that is slowly falling apart and you are kind of sent on a journey to repair and mend the world as it falls apart. Um, is that what those things are? Yeah, so you, you come across these kind of tendrils and they're, they're one of the few threats in the game. There's, there's not necessarily any conventional combat and you're never really on the offensive, but you're more so just defending yourself. What was that? Yeah, so this uh, this is something that reoccurs several times in the game. It's like a, he's a large foe that just kind of appears, and he seems to be chasing the queen of this this broken world around. So you can see there's more examples of the movement. Now, th this is a good time to bring up as well, even though it's kind of just past, but the game gives you control of the camera, as most games do nowadays. But then, you know, you try and position it in a place that's more comfortable for you, but then it decides to just re-seize control of the camera, Right there, I take yeah. It. So, like, you, you know, you want to position it in a way it's more comfortable, but then it's constantly trying to, to to sort of box it into a corner to make it more cinematic. And I can appreciate that because moments like this, where you know you're trying to defend yourself from all these like little paper airplanes that are flying at you that will hurt you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they hurt when when you get that many of them. You got one once. in the eye. Yeah, it yeah, sucks. yeah. I actually got one in my nose once. It was. It, it was very painful. Um, so, so this is a situation. That, I mean, I, I sort of drew this section out a bit because I really liked the effect that it that it uh, that it had. This one's neat too. Yeah, exactly. So there's these these kind of like tendril monsters that, that I think the you know the the core drive of these enemies is they want to constrict you and they want to stop that this elegant movement. So by dancing more, you're defying them, and that's what's kind of stopping them. Um, Trying to take the fun out of life. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think that's. That's a large part of um, what the themes of the game are trying to convey without having to go too much in the story. Uh, there's a lot of sort of um, sub-narrative of, uh, you know, a potentially um, unfriendly childhood and uh, some other things in there that we don't want to talk about. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very startling game and it obviously has a message under there. Whether it delivers that message very well, that's something that is up for debate because it, I don't know if it does, but we can uh, we can leave that for another time. Something that the game does struggle with is being a platformer uh, and more so being a platformer that works. Um, as you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, that there are mechanics where the character will grab ledges and she'll haul herself up. But there's also, there's never seems to be any direction whether, like, it's, you know, I don't want a game to be, like, jump here. But as you saw there, it's like, you know, oh, here's the platform we're going to jump on. And, oh, the game's thrown me off to the side. <laughs> um, so, I think, 
for all of its uh, its uh, its merits, the the visual effects that the games put on the screen, like oh the ground sort of fracturing in that instance, mm-hmm. the platform just broke below me, and yeah. so I fell. And it's like I don't that to me doesn't make sense. And when it works, it works well. And you can see here I finally found the right route, and the effects of those platforms sort of. Uh, shifting and breaking looks amazing uh, and it yeah. gives it that it really emphasizes the look of this abstract painting that a lot of the game has well i, I couldn't um, help but notice how much on screen is moving at once as well yeah yeah and, and it's, it's really fascinating to watch yeah no overall uh i like the game i do think mm-hmm. it's good um it's very it's, it's a very in entra- uh, sort of entrancing game but will it hold up in the long run i'm not sure my initial impressions are a little mixed to be honest well, Jack, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. If you guys are interested in learning more about Bound or anything else in the gaming world, just uh, keep locked to GameMates. We'll keep bringing you the same great content.